Hey y'all, Jenny Higgler here, star director with Tupperware. Today I'm gonna to show you our spiralizer attachment for our master system. So of course we have our base that suction cups to the countertop. Then we have the spiralizer accessory. Notice here that there's a spiral indicator and an unlock indicator. That'll come in handy as we go. So it's gonna slide on and then it's gonna lock and suction cup to the countertop. It's not going anywhere. Then you have your plunger. Your plunger is actually going to fit in right on the end, right like that, and it sits there. Then you can take your handle and you screw your handle on just like that. But then the spiralizer attachment comes with three blades. You have a ribbon blade, you have a linguine blade, and then you have the spaghetti blade. So a thin cut, medium cut, and then the ribbon. So each one of the blades has little feet and the feet actually sli slide into holes right here. Okay. I'm going to show you how it works first with our spaghetti or the thin cut blade and it locks in there right like that. As before, the mix and store pitcher sits right underneath it. So then I'm going to take a piece of zucchini and this we can actually do one handed. So we can actually chop um, and slice oh, real quick on the blades. So on the inside it has the little pieces. You've got blades here and then the flat blade there. Take note that the blades do not go in the dishwasher because they have metal pieces on them. All right, so it's going to slide right in there, put it in the middle, uh, secure it in there. Then you can turn it from the unlock to the spiral. And then you can literally do this one handed. Okay, so then if I wanted to, I could take my kitchen shears and cut these into bite sized pieces. Um, I could let them stay long and make them into a spaghetti. Okay. I'm gonna actually unlock it because I'm gonna show you how it works with the long or the the wider cut, the linguine cut. Okay. So then we take our linguine cut. It's gonna sit right on in there. We take our zucchini again, put it in there right like that. Secure it. Turn it to the spiral axis to the spiral indicator. And now you have a wider, you have a thicker cut on these. And we can go all the way down to the bottom. And when it gets to the end, it's actually going to stop on its own and it's going to be, go to the unlock position and it's not going to hurt itself. It just went to the unlock and moved from the lock, from the spiral to the unlock position all on its own. You have this little piece here. You can put this in your compost bin. You can throw it outside for the birds to eat, whatnot. Um, let me just show y'all. So this is the thick cut. So you can see how it's a little thicker. All right. Then down in here, we have the thin cut. So when you spiralize zucchini, you actually don't have to cook it. You can let it sit, let's put it into a strainer or a colander, and the liquid will actually um, seep out, the extra water will seep out, and you don't have to cook them, all right? So uh, there's the thin one, there's the thick one, okay? Let me show you how the ribbon works with the other one, okay? Actually, there's a neat little trick that you can do with it too with some potatoes as well. Let me grab one of these. It's a skewer, okay? So you can do some really cool, what's called tornado potatoes with it if you want to. So then I'm gonna take my ribbon cutting and I'll put that in there right like that. This video is a little longer than my usual ones because we're actually showing some really cool stuff. All right, so I'm gonna put my zucchini right in there. I'm gonna secure it so I've got the ribbon on it and I'm gonna turn it to the spiral. Then I'm gonna take that skewer. I'm gonna put it right in there like that and it's actually going to wind around. Do y'all see that? It's actually going to wind around. There we go. And it's actually gonna wind around and it's gonna create a ribbon. And so if we actually do this on here correctly, you can keep an entire potato on here, put it in a nine by 13 um, ultra pro lasagna pan, and you can actually roast it in that spiral shape and do it that way. Now let me show you how it looks. And as we get all the way down to the bottom, of course, it's gonna go from the spiral to the unlock position all on its own, remember? There we go. And I just pull my skewer out and I can feed it on there correctly. And then I can roast it this way. You can also throw them on the grill like this. If you're gonna put it on the grill, make sure that you soak your wooden skewers into some water beforehand so they don't burn up on the grill. So this is how the spiralizer, um, the spiralizer accessory works with our master system. Y'all have a great day. Bye.